Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Sagittarius. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. If you would like a membership, you can find that in the join section of the page or to help support this channel by getting a super thanks. You could find that in the thanks section of the page. Also, what no matter whatever the amount you donate to the channel, you can ask me a question in the comment section and I will make a personal tarot reading for you and post it up for you. So just putting that out there. All right, Sagittarius, I scurried the crystal for you today and the image I saw within the crystal was very interesting. Um, I saw a male figure that was dressed in armor and he was holding a circular shield and I couldn't see his face at all, but he was in a crouched position and he was in the snow. To the back of him was a woolly mammoth, and uh can't say I've seen that in the crystal before. Um, it was a dark woolly mammoth and had large white tusks. And the woolly mammoth symbolizes a spirit of kindness and gentleness. Uh, this animal could also represent a characteristic of you having a strong heart and a, a very protective heart for your loved ones. Um, the woolly mammoth also is a symbol of uh, warmth and hospitality. The mammoth symbolizes courage, endurance, and, you know, so you could be in this energy of the woolly mammoth and also in this very, you know, nurturing, protective mode. And, um, you know, to me, mammoths are, you know, very much like elephants, and elephants are, you know, have a very long memory. So, you know, perhaps you have a very long memory and a very strong um strong bond of, you know, family. So even if you do not have a strong bond with your family, I still feel like family is, you know, very important to you. So even if you have a toxic family, you still hold value of uh, what a family should be. All right, let's get into your reading. The first card to come out for you today is the five of coins. So this is being, you know, the feeling of being left out on the cold, feeling abandoned. Next card out is a two of coins, but things are going to be coming into balance for you. So I feel like you're healing from this feeling of trauma of, you know, feeling like, you know, that no one cares type feeling. I feel like you're evening that out and you're healing from, you know, the hurts that have been done to you. Next card out is the world card. So you're closing out a cycle. You're closing out things that no longer serve you. You're closing out negative things. And when one door closes, another opens. Next card out for you is the Three of Swords. You're closing out the cycle of having a broken heart. You know, you're closing out the, these negative traumatic feelings. Next card out is the King of Swords. So you're going to be in the King of Swords energy. You know, you're going to be in this position of authority. You know, you're taking back your power here. With the King of Swords, you know, this is someone that is, you know, high ranking. And I feel like you could have been... um you know, picked on by a lot of people and people just kept repeatedly breaking your heart and, you know, you try to avoid it, but, you know, they just kept attacking you is what I feel like. And but now you're taking charge, you know, you're in this King of Swords energy and that was paired up here next to the Ten of Swords. So this is like betrayal. So with all this heartbreak and betrayal, you know, and things coming at you, you're taking charge now where you're not putting up with it anymore. Also, the King of Swords could represent someone here that was an air energy, doesn't have to be but that could have abused their power within your life. This could have been an individual that had a position of authority of some kind, whether in a family status or job status, and abused their authority with you. This person could have been very manipulative, um, perhaps verbally and or physically abusive towards you. And um, this is someone that, you know, tried to make you feel very bad about yourself. And I feel like tormented your thoughts a lot because swords represent thoughts. Next card out is temperance, but I feel like you're reaching balance here. You have two balance cards here where things are going to be getting better for you. Next card out is the six of coins. So with the six of coins being here, this is gifts of generosity. So I feel like you could be getting, you know, a financial abundance here. Next card out for you is the high priestess. This is letting you know to stay within your energy of being very divinely connected to God for God will communicate to you spiritually. This is a very divine connection and you have a gift here, uh, like a seer energy. So it's letting you know to hold on to that gift because it's going to let you know who is good for your life and who is not. 
next card out for you is the knight of coins so this is uh you're in this energy of a hard worker you know and you're making your wishes come true you know and also there could be someone entering your life that is a hard worker um this is someone that will be you know um manifesting their dreams uh possibly an animal lover That'll be entering your life. This is uh, earth energy. doesn't have to be, but this person can be coming from a very grounded energy. Next card out is the emperor card. So this could either be your energy or this other person's energy, but I feel like there's going to be an individual that's going to be entering your life that is going to be sitting in their power and their throne, but this is someone that does not abuse their authority. This person is going to be uh, a partner to you. I'm picking up like a very, uh, like a soulmate energy, someone that wants to, um, you know, treat you with respect is what I feel here. Next card out for you is justice. So things are going to be evened out here. You're going to, the scales are going to be evened out where you're going to be in a very healing um, energy and, you know, knowing your worth. And I feel like these people that did bad stuff to you are going to be receiving bad karma, but I feel like God is going to have people that are beneficial to you entering your life. Next card out for you is the full card. So with the full card being here, you're going to take a chance on this. So even if you had been heartbroken in the past and you're afraid of taking a chance with this individual of letting them into your life, I feel like you are going to take that chance and this person is going to, you know, um, be someone that is on the same wavelength as you. Next card out for you is medicine rights accomplishment. So this is a beautiful energy here. It's letting you know that um, to basically give yourself a pat on the back, you know, that God is very proud of you, that you have overcome great trials and, you know, lots of sorrow. You have overcome it and you have passed all the tests that were thrown your way. And it's letting you know that um, you are going to be healing from all this and that you are have a very healing energy and a healing gift. And to know that you have passed all the tests and you have come through all the, you know, very scary times and, you know, that God has pulled you through it and God is very uh, proud of you of how you handled everything. So this is what this card represents. Uh, the next card out for you is Motherwort Inundation. So I believe you've been getting this card a lot lately, Sagittarius. But with Motherwort being here, um, this symbolizes, you know, possibly having issues with your mother or a mother uh, figure within your life. Um, this could be someone that wasn't there for you when you needed them, um, who doesn't give you, you know, the validation or the nurturing that you deserve. And it's letting you know to, you know, find that within your own heart. And I feel like you are going to be the mother that you never had. So you're going to be in this very motherly energy. That's why I think I saw the woolly mammoth is because, you know, it symbolizes, you know, caring for family, family being important and, you know, being there for others. And I feel like you're going to be in that energy. And also whenever you need, you know, that comfort from a mother, you know, turn to Mother Mary because, you know, she is our divine mother. Um, the medicinal benef benefit of the mother ward is, you know, it helps with lots of female um, problems. It helps with, you know, relieving PMS cramps. Um, brings down a delayed menstrual cycle. Um, it helps lower blood pressure, helps with heart palpitations, helps with chronic anxiety or nervousness. You know, so it has lots of medicinal benefits, you know, that are wor worth looking into, especially, you know, for uh, women, you know, reproductive health. You know, but all in all, I see, uh, <clears throat> you know, good things for you here, Sagittarius. I see that you're going to be releasing all this anguish, all this pain, all this those trauma feelings of abandonment, I feel like you're releasing that. And, you know, good people are going to be entering your life, you know, even a, picking up like a divine soulmate connection that will be entering your life if they have not already entered. And, you know, you're going to be healing from all these past wounds. And, you know, you're becoming the person that you wanted in your life, you know. So if you were not getting that from, you know, your family, you are going to be that person that is going to be the... um the circle breaker, you know, you're going to be what everyone was supposed to be. All right, Sagittarius, if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.